28 males, 10 females and 5 children made up the group of illegal Haitian migrants brought into the capital from Eleuthera last evening. But immigration officials are set on beefing up patrols throughout the country to ensure that the illegal immigrants continue or the population continues to be reduced. Director of Immigration William Pratt says they will not be lenient with those who try to circumvent the law. Arjuna Noel Ferguson has more on that. Director of Immigration William Pratt is convinced that regular patrols inland for illegal immigrants will help curb the vexing problem that has plagued the country for years. He admitted that the problem is even greater on islands of Abaco, Eleuthera, and Exuma. Because many of the, of the illegal Haitians would quickly find um, a hideout place. And so that has been a challenge for us in the major islands like Exuma. Eleuthera, Abaco, where there's a major Haitian population, it is more difficult for us. Now, the other migrants may not be as difficult. I know in Grand Bahama, in particularly, we, we have a problem with the smuggling operations. And so many of these migrants, they enter the Bahamas um, by Cuba Airlines or Cuban or other airlines. They enter legally and then they move to Grand Bahama where they are housed in some safe house until they can can be um, smuggled into the U.S. Now, Director of Immigration William Pratt says there are stiff penalties for those who think they can get away with harboring illegals. Those who hired them, once we catch them in their employ, we're going to prosecute to the full extent of the law. Uh, for those Haitians who are here legally, we ask that you not harbor illegal migrants because again if we catch them in your homes you're harboring them hiding them away from us we would ensure that whatever status you may have we would make recommendation to the immigration board to have those status revoked and while one would expect shanty towns to be the first spot for immigration officers to find illegals pratt noted that in most instances this is not the case illegal haitians do not live in shanty towns when we have um, operations in those shanty towns, we find about 95 or 99 percent of those persons are legal. And most of them, if they're not third, second Haitian Bahamians, um, they have work permits, permanent residence. The, the illegal Haitians, usually we need intelligence to find them because when they come, they hide out in houses and in apartments that you would not think they are. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.